Hey you, I'm so glad you're here today. I'm Jenny Prochko from Miles and Indigo and I make videos about journaling, goal setting, and spirituality. Today it's time for my monthly bullet journal plan with me. This month's theme is inspired by the snow full moon of December from my article, The Winter Full Moon Names, which you can find linked down below. In these videos, I like to give you a little bit more extra information about the alternative names for the full moons of that particular month and give you some seasonal background. So let's get into my journal, plan together, and learn about the December full moon names. I'm starting off my monthly cover page by putting in the monthly overview as like a mini overview here, then adding a December label from my Dymo label maker. I've been loving my Dymo label maker this whole year. I'm so in love with it. And now I'm adding the moon phases for this month and I'll be adding in the dates to this moon wheel as well. This is like my lunar calendar that I flip back to and reference quickly while I'm in my journal further on in the weeks. That way I can just quickly see where the moon phase dates fall. Next, I'm moving on to my larger monthly overview. This is going to have a bigger view of the dates and then also where the moon phases fall in the calendar visually. Like usual, I'm keeping it pretty simple by using some washi tape accents. I'm using two different ones here. I've got one that is very sparkly and glittery and a lighter blue one that has sort of like a Christmas boho vibe to it that I just really love. I like using this, these two in the winter. Now I'm adding in the dates to my calendar. You'll see there are some open spots. That's where I'm gonna put the moon phase icons. Now I'm adding in the week numbers. Here I like to put in any special things that are going on in the week as like a brief overview of things that I'm looking forward to or big plans that I have coming up. Now I'm just adding in all of the icons for those open squares for my monthly calendar. Sometimes, and you'll see in some of my previous plan with me's, I use different icons if there's like a birthday or an anniversary or something special going on. I love these little silicone stamps. I'll have them linked down below so you can check them out too. But they've got a ton of different icons. Like right here, we've got one for New Year's Day. I've got little champagne flutes and a little letter with a heart. Next, I'm moving on to my weekly spread. As usual, I keep this very simple and very minimal. Keeping it really easy with the decorations using the washi tape like I did earlier. And I have a column here for my design tasks for the week and any other tasks that I have. I'm a graphic designer and a marketer in addition to making content for you here on Owls and Indigo and this is the planner that I use. And then I have my top three most important tasks and an hourly log at the end of the page. And then I finish off my weekly spread by adding in the moon phase dates. And this month I'm also filling in the moon phase dates with this metallic gold marker. And now let's move on to the winter full moon names of December. In the Northern Hemisphere, the full moon of December and the winter solstice and the holiday Yule correspond with the first grips of winter, long dark cold nights, and the longest night of the year. It is also a time in earth-based religions that the goddess gives birth to the sun god, making the return of the sun as the days start to become longer. Farmers at this time of year are watching over livestock and counting them every day so they know when an animal is missing and might be in trouble out in the freezing snow. The snow moon and the cold moon are two common names for the full moon that happens on the date closest to the winter solstice. This moon told our ancestors who lived off the land that the sun would be returning soon. The most common signs of the snow full moon are snow, long nights, and the return of the sun. This moon also served as a signal to the settlers that winter was half over. If you like this watercolor painting, you can find it over in my shop. Make sure you get it for your bullet journal too. Get it to hang up on your wall for some inspiration or send it to someone you love. At the end of the year, there's gonna be an original full moon watercolor painting for each of the full moons. So make sure you grab all of them as the year goes on. There will be a new one every month with each bullet journal plan with me. The link is in the description. 
The winter full moon names. Bitter moon, snow moon, peach moon, twelfth moon, cold moon, oak moon, and long night moon. Growing up on a Midwestern farm, this was a magical time of year. The air was cold and the snow started to get a crisp layer on top that glistened in the sunlight. I spent my time in snow pants bundled up playing outside and checking on our animals and searching for icicles low enough to break off and smash onto the ground. We always had ice on the farm, so it was a struggle to stay upright while playing, but at the same time, fun to slide as fast as possible on the ice and collapse into a snowbank. There were also big bushes that we had in front of our machine shed that had grown large enough that the snow didn't reach under the bushes and created a little cave for me and my dogs to play in and take a break from the sometimes windy days. To learn about the rest of the full moon names of the year, check out the links down below. Before we get into the final flip through, I'm going to let you know about the private monthly spirituality journaling prompt that goes out on the first of every month. You'll receive a private email from me, the secret monthly spirituality journaling prompt, a private video explanation, and a peek into my private journal entry for the exact same journaling prompt. Sign up now before the first, the link is in the description. I'm so grateful that you chose to spend your time here with me today, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!